This Mega Drive has a broken CPU, and I thought I'd have some fun and experiment with cheap ICs from China to see what we get. The original 68000 CPU was murdered years ago with a failed overclocking attempt by some idiot when the clock pin snapped off. My attempt to fix it did not work, in fact it got worse. Afterwards it wouldn't play Master System games which I found weird since the 68000 isn't used in that mode and the chip got really hot. Disconnecting my dodgy patch would bring the Master System games back, but what's a Mega Drive that can't play Mega Drive games? I looked online for replacement 68000s, and that's where this idea came from. All of these were less than 10 Australian dollars posted, and took a very, very long time to get here. Here's the first candidate. Alright, so this is the first 68k. And, uh... <laughs> um, oh no. Okay. So, it's a P8 that I want. That doesn't look like a... Oh. <laughs> Looks like it's just a P10, but they tried to hide it. <laughs> um, oh no. I wonder if you can see that. These... Yeah, these marks on the sides. Looks like... I don't know. It's more prominent on this side. Yeah, look at that. Oh. The pins, it's definitely used, unlike <laughs> what the listing says. New old stock, my foot. Putting new in the listing doesn't mean it's scratched a bit. Otherwise, I mean, it looks pretty decent. Malaysia. Here's the second one. Feels like cling wrap. Pins are definitely not straight. This could be a real one. Date code of apparently 1994. So, who knows? This could be. This could be a winner. Just on visuals alone. Okay. What about the third one? Oh, anti-static packaging. That's a decent change. Oh no. <laughs> well, that's not good. Look at the print. It's stretched. That's not a circle, is it? That's not a circle. Oh my god. Oh, no, listen to this. I'm gonna put this up on the mic. Oh no. That'll be one for the acetone later. Well, we should at least have a look on the under, on, on the underside. Oh, you know what? No. No, what am I, what am I trying to convince myself? The, the texture is better, but... Wow. How poor is that? So I've already taken out the original dead CPU and ordered a socket to go in its place for seamless swapping because I am not soldering and desoldering 64 pins multiple times. No way. Here's the socket and... They look a lot smaller. Yep, okay. <laughs> so I went to JCAR and got two strips of female headers. In they go. Thank you. 
I've got to make sure I get solder through to both sides of the board or we'll still have issues. So off camera I verified every single connection with a multimeter and it's all good. So here goes tip number one, the P10 in disguise. Making sure to match the notch on the chip with the notch printed on the board. Okay, okay, hold up. <laughs> what is going on here? Please trust me, this only happened for this shot. When I actually tested it, it did not look like that. Every pin was in the right spot. I promise. Alright, here's chip number one. And nothing's happening. But just to make sure, I'm just going to take the cartridge out. Try it again. Put it back in. And turn it on. Still nothing. Okay, I'm going to take the cartridge out. So now I'm going to test the, the Mega CD, see if that does anything. Nope. No Mega CD, LED. No, nothing. Alright, looks like a no go. You know what I really should do is try it out with a known working chip just to verify that it would work if these are good chips. But I can't, I, but I, I just can't be stuffed. Here goes number two. The one that looks the part. Alright, here goes chip number two. Got high hopes for this one, because it looks the part. And so far my hopes have been dashed. Again, we're going to try removing the cartridge. Putting it back in a couple times, turning it back on. If I can find the power switch in the dark, there it is. No, still nothing. Okay, make a CD test. Take the cartridge out and see if the Mega CD does anything. Uh, no. Now all we have left is the really dodgy looking one. Nothing again. It's not really looking good, is it? I hope the console isn't broken somewhere else. Well, okay. Number three's turn. The one that looks <laughs> not the part at all. But before it goes in, I found that the pattern on the top is actually the same as the Hitachi 68000, which makes the print even more hilarious. The seller probably would have got more attention with a fake Hitachi print. Another way I can confirm this is on the underside. You can see one side has GA and the other side has 1. This is true to the Hitachi design where you usually get letters on one side and a number on the other side. So as far as I'm aware, this is a genuine Hitachi chip. Also, watch this. Oh no, look at that. That horrible texture is now gone and the spots are nice and glossy as they should be. But I can't remove the bad print. I thought I could get to the original one but I guess they took extra steps to make sure I couldn't for some reason. Enough stalling, put it in and turn it on. Oh. <laughs> what? Seriously? Oh, hang on. Okay, something's not right. I'm not seeing the color green. And that's not just because I'm colorblind. You yeah, look in the background. There's no green. There's no green. Look at that. That might not actually have anything to do with the 68K though. I'll have a look at the video chip. The RGB encoder. Yeah, I see the white is more pink. The 240p test suite has color tests, 
and that gives us a very clear indication of what's going on. There's no green! Why won't it give me green? Give me green! 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 So here's the RGB encoder under the heatsink, and despite how it looks, it works perfectly fine. Looking at the pin that outputs green, it seems fine, but if I check continuity between it and the output jack pin, there's no connection where there should be a direct short. So all we have to do is jump it with a wire and that will be that. Oh, I'm sorry if you couldn't see that very well. But before I test it again, I'll cut this pin, which is the composite output, since I never use composite, and it really helps to get rid of that jail bar effect you get in Mega Drives. Alright, let's see if it changed anything. Yes! Mega! The white is white. Very buzzy though. That buzzing noise is most likely due to the very cheap Scott cable I bought years ago. The green has returned. And that's all it took. One little wire and we're happy again. So why are these chips so cheap? Cheap as chips. <laughs> so why are they cheap? Well, they could be factory rejects, fake reproductions, or, and this is what I think the case is, recycled. Since all three chips came from China, that's what I'm led to believe. A huge amount of electronic rubbish gets exported to China, and they'll sort through it, removing all the valuable parts like chips, recondition them, and resell them. This footage I'm showing is really old now, and I hope it's not still like this. It looks quite hard to breathe there. Piles and piles of boards. Depending on who's dealing with these chips, we'll have different symptoms. They may retin the pins by dipping them into a puddle of solder to give it a newer look, for example, and we saw that with some of the chips I have in this video. You can see how nice and shiny they are, but they have this kind of bulging. With the reprinted ones, they might sand down the original print before slapping on their own one, which could be cooked on and laser etched, which is what I think is the case with the third one, the Hitachi one. I'm trying to keep this simple. The more familiar you become with chips, the more you'll notice, and I'm really not that familiar, so yeah. In short, I didn't think any of these would actually work. It feels like a luck of the draw sort of thing, but I'm really glad I tried. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please consider subscribing or letting me know in the comments and all that bosh, but for now and as always, I'll be back in 16 bits. That's hilarious, right? That's bloody hilarious. Think I'm your little funny clown, don't ya? That's all I am to you, your funny little puppet clown. Yeah, fucking pulling off shit like that. You know how I have a hard life to live and you're just putting me through this? I just... Who do you think I am? I'm not a... This isn't my...